the drug development space for helping patients with outcry range lung cancer has really been expanding over the last many years. So many new drugs or next generation agents being developed in this space. And uh, it, it's great to see that all of them appear to be very active. And this includes patients who've been previously treated not ju just with drugs like crizotinib, but even next generation drugs like uh, seritinib or electinib. One of the agents that is not yet approved, but we've been seeing data on over the last uh, couple of years at least, and certainly at uh, the World Lung Meeting in Vienna, is brigatinib. So this is an agent uh, that's been a little bit behind in its development. It's considered a next generation ALK inhibitor, a very potent drug at inhibiting ALK. Um, I, uh, you know, have referenced that seritinib and electinib are very active agents compared with crizotinib. We know that drugs like seritinib and electinib are better because they target ALK in a more specific way, a more effective way, and brigatinib should be viewed the same way, that, that it's a next generation drug that is very potent and appears to be more potent than crizotinib. Now, we don't have head-to-head -head studies of brigatinib against uh, crizotinib, but those studies certainly are, are uh, planned. The, the question is, now we have yet a fourth potential agent that'll come into the treatment of ALK rearranged lung cancer initially to be uh, as an agent following first line use. So a drug like seritinib or even electinib or even crizotinib in the first line setting would be, would be an effective therapy. And then as patients progress, brigatinib potentially would be the next line of therapy. One day, brigatinib will try to get into the first line setting as well. But it, I, I regard this as a fourth very active agent that appears to be very safe as well uh, and effective at controlling cancer not only in the body but in the brain. One of the things to mention about uh, brigatinib though has been um, uh, a safety profile that, that is very good but we watch for something called pneumonitis. It's quite rare but we want to make sure patients uh, are followed carefully for inflammation in the lungs. Not an unusual side effect that we see with other therapies we use in lung cancer these days. So brigatinib's mechanism of action is a little bit different. It's very potent at targeting ALK. Um, actually, its structure was originally designed to have an EGFR uh, moiety, so targeting EGFR, but that's not thought to be a part of its uh, activity. Um, so uh, some people might in the past refer to this as a dual ALK EGFR agent, but really this should be viewed as a classic ALK inhibitor. So brigatinib is not yet approved, but the um, pivotal trials uh, have enrolled, and we are seeing data now emerge that look every bit as good as the data we've seen with seritinib and electinib in the, in the uh, settings where those drugs got approved. So I think we all expect brigatinib to become a new standard of care in ALK range lung cancer. Noratilib is actually considered to be the third generation because it has the ability of actual inhibition of some of the resistant gene, namely the G1202R. In the same time, they also have a supposed to be a very high uh, quality to penetrate the brain due to the molecular structure. So those are the two benefits that we are looking into this uh, third generation uh, TKI. Now, at this moment, they have just data coming out from the phase one, uh, two uh, extension study, suggesting the response rate to be good, but again, it's early. Now, toxicity-wise, apart from some of the standard toxicity, there's also an interesting one, is that they may have a CNS effect, meaning that it will change the mentality of the patient sometime, and also some patient may have somnolence as well. So this is one of the so-called CNS effect that have been closely being evaluated. Now the drug is actually uh, entering the phase three study uh, of a frontline loratinib compared with crisotinib. So in other words, there will be a new option uh, of the third generation drug compared to the standard first generation of TKI if this study turns out to be positive. However, this is in a relatively early development of the phase three, and then I do not have a specific timeline when this study will be completed. Of course, I think the regulation probably would be looking in this particular study as the so-called registrational data.